Could Brian Laundrie still be alive if he's in Florida's Carlton Reserve? For more than three weeks, local and federal authorities have been combing through a 25,000-acre nature reserve searching for Brian Laundrie, the fiancé of 22-year-old Gabby Petito. On September 1, Laundrie returned in Petito's van to the couple's Northport, Florida, home from a cross-country road trip the couple embarked on earlier in the summer, police have said. Petito's remains were later found in Wyoming's Teton County. Laundrie has not been accused of any wrongdoing in Petito's killing. Laundrie's parents told police he left home on September 13, a day earlier than they initially told investigators, to hike in the nearby Carlton Reserve. Dozens of officers from agencies including the FBI, the Northport Police Department, Florida Wildlife Commission, several sheriff's offices and K-9 search and rescue teams have been searching the reserve since Laundrie's parents first talked to police on September 17. The Carlton Reserve is a vast and unforgiving location at times. It is currently, waste, deep in water in many areas, Northport Police said in a Facebook post last month. This is dangerous work for the search crews as they are wading through gator and snake-infested swaps and flooded hiking and biking trails. CNN asked survival experts if it's possible Laundry is alive if he has been in the reserve since mid-September. Here's what they said. It depends on his supplies and experience. In an ABC interview that aired last week, Laundry's sister, Cassie Laundry, said he had previously taken trips for up to five days on the Appalachian Trail. She said her brother is a mediocre survivalist. Robert Urban, founder and chief instructor of the Urban Survival Academy, said he believes it's highly unlikely that someone who is not professionally trained in survival tactics would be able to survive in the reserve for this long. Florida's climate is very, very difficult, Urban told CNN. I'm an expert with plenty of experience, and it would be everything that I could do to survive for, more, than three weeks. Someone with no experience, you cannot be lucky and survive in that sort of climate. The list of challenges laundry could be facing isn't a short one. There's wildlife that could hurt him, including water moccasins, hogs, bears and alligators, survival experts told CNN. There have also been panther sightings in the reserve in the past. If Laundry was in the reserve for this long, he would likely also not be operating under the best mindset, several experts added, due to the anxiety of trying to evade authorities and trying to survive, which could hinder his survival skills.